Welcome to the eighth day of December. It's a Wednesday, 2021. Well, thanks for tuning into the Day Weather Podcast. We have winter weather coming our way, folks. In fact, this will be the most significant winter weather event we've had in weeks. Now, that isn't saying much since we haven't had much this winter, but it's going to be a shock of the system to, to some of you, especially in parts of the mountainous terrain of Colorado, Utah, Wyoming, parts of Nebraska, and parts of South Dakota. It's not going to get everybody. There's going to be a large part of the Colorado Front Range that really won't get very much. But some of the key areas are going to be impacted, especially if you're going to be traveling. It's going to be windy and mild most areas today. Temperatures very, very good for this time of year. Most areas climbing into the 40s and 50s. But significant winter weather is going to roll in beginning late tonight, but certainly tomorrow and Friday for most of Wyoming, most of Utah, parts of Colorado, parts of Nebraska, and South Dakota. Stock growers and travelers, be prepared. Going to get kind of harsh out there and travel along I-80, I-25, and the mountain passes of Wyoming, Utah, Colorado going to really be impacted by this storm. In fact, the mountains are going to get a lot of snow. This is a godsend for the snowpack and for the ski areas. The pattern stays active in the next week. We've got another storm system towards the middle of next week we're going to be keeping an eye on. But right now, let's focus in on where we are right now. Kind of a more straight jet stream wind today. This is why today is going to be generally pretty mild and windy. The cold air building up here, high pressure extending up into the eastern Pacific means that flow aloft will continue to come in from the northwest with little disturbances coming in. And this is going to bring a lot of wind. So if traveling today, long I-25, and I-80, you're going to be hit by some strong and gusty crosswinds, so travelers keep that in mind up over South Pass as well and into the higher terrain of Colorado. However, as we get into tomorrow night and Friday, the next trough comes through. It's a transient system, meaning it's going to come through fairly quickly, not set up as a four corners low, but there's a good slug of cold air, good slug of Pacific moisture with the system. And this is what the precipitation outlook is looking like through Saturday with this storm. This area here is going to be the focal point for most of the winter weather. And you can see it's really the mountainous terrain and areas west of the divide that catch the best snow. This area, though, here will see a goodly amount of snow, more than we've seen in a while. And it's going to be very, very cold in this area. Notice, though, that as you get to about Fort Collins, the Colorado Springs, it's going to really be down sloping and snowfall will occur. It's just going to be quite light. Now, this is the area we're most concerned about in the region right here in terms of travel and livestock weather conditions. If you were to look at where the snow will fall, you can see there's quite the dividing line right at the Colorado border with Wyoming and point south to Raton Pass there. But you get up along the Pine Ridge in Nebraska, the Pine Ridge, where it extends into Wyoming, the Laramie Range, the Snowy Range, the Sierra Madres, the Steamboat area is really going to get walloped with a lot of snow. Then back into the Wasatch here. So you can see that the Central Rockies will do the best with snow with this system. If we were to focus in a little bit tighter, zooming in on this snowfall forecast, this is where we've got concerns with I-80, especially, well, really, all across from Salt Lake to Nebraska. But as you can see, all the pink here near Arlington and Elk Mountain, back to Wamsutter near Rollins, and then back to Laramie, up into the summit area between Laramie and Cheyenne. Then you can see some darker, brighter colors right here. So the mountains around Steamboat, the park range, the, those areas are going to see the most snow they've seen all season. And then back into the Wasatch right here. So prayers going to get answered for the ski areas in Colorado, Wyoming, and Utah with the storm system. These are temperatures by Friday afternoon. Just to show you how cold it'll get, these are temperatures by late Friday afternoon. So you can see lots of teens, lots of 20s. It's going to be pretty chilly behind the storm system as it moves on through. Then we get into the weekend. The pattern goes more zonal. We talk about going in and out of phase one and phase two. So we have a brief episode of going back to phase one for the weekend. Now, I still expect the weekend to be chilly, especially Saturday, but Sunday and Monday with that phase one coming back in will warm up and get windy again. But we've got this low and we've got this pocket of cold air coming on in. And here it is. We're going to have a low and we're going to need to watch this guy right here. It could be a weather maker. 
towards Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Certainly it will be for the mountains, but this system could track down here, could track up here, but we've got something coming through the middle of next week. So about every three or four days, there's some type of storm or front that'll be coming through the Rockies. This is the back side of the forecast. This is actually for the middle to the end of next week. And I wanted to highlight, look at the precipitation along the West Coast, California, the Sierra Nevada, really needs the rain. They're going to get some. And pushing into the Great Basin, look at the Southwest Mountains of Colorado, even the mountainous terrain of Arizona, the Wasatch, up in the Tetons, and then up into the mountains of Idaho and Eastern Oregon. This is going to be a good slug of precipitation coming into the far western areas of the United States during the middle to the end of next week. So the pattern getting a lot more active, and that's what the total snowfall looks like. Look at the snowfall in the Sierra Nevada. We're talking over four feet of snow potentially over the next 10 days, and some really heavier snows into the Uintas, then the, these heavier snows in the mountains of Colorado and southern Wyoming. So if you're a skier and a snowmobiler, been patiently waiting, well, your patience will be paying off here over the next two or three weeks. At the same time, look at these temperatures on the north slope of Alaska, approaching minus 50 Fahrenheit by the middle to the end parts of next week. Looking out further, this is for the 23rd, so we're getting close to Christmas time. We've got another low coming on in that will move into the west. So the, the story here is that pattern stays very active right up through Christmas week. What it looks like Christmas week may not look like this, but certainly we've got systems that will continue to move on through as the pattern getting more busy. Have yourself a great Wednesday. We'll have more on the storm tomorrow morning. Thanks for tuning in to the Day Weather Podcast.